keep him. Our Lord is good. The Bible says, for his mercy endure forever. For the month of January, let's appreciate God. For the month of February, let's appreciate God. For the month of March that we are about to enter into. Can we lift up our hand and appreciate our Lord, our God? Let's bless him. Let's say thank you, Jesus. Lord, Lord, we worship you. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you praise. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, our Lord. Thank you, our God. We want to say thank you for our family member. Thank you for everything that concerning us, our home, our marriage. Lord, we want to say thank you for all that you have done for us throughout the first month. Thank you for the second month. Thank you for allowing us to see the beginning and allow us to see the last day, today, the very last day, the last minute, the last hour, the last second in this month of February. Lord, we give you thanks. Lord, we give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. Lord, we say thank you. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our Lord. Thank you, our God. Father, we worship you. To you be all glory. To you be all honor. To you be all adoration. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have given thanks. Let's declare and declare that, Father, tonight, let heaven open up for me, heavens of answer prayer. Let it open up for me tonight, in the name of Jesus. That my Lord, my God, tonight, open the heaven upon me, in the name of Jesus. Open the heaven upon me, in the name of Jesus. Open the heaven upon me, in the name of Jesus. Open the heaven upon me, in the name of Jesus. Let's declare and declare, let the Lord God open heaven upon us, tonight, in the name of Jesus. Father, we decree, we declare, open heaven in the name of Jesus. 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 Can we begin to decree and declare that, Father, tonight, let there be open heaven in the name of Jesus. Let there be open heaven in the name of Jesus. Let there be open heaven in the name of Jesus. Let there be open heaven. In the name of Jesus, upon us tonight, Father, we decree, we declare open heaven. We decree, we declare open heaven. In the name of Jesus, heaven is upon me tonight. Father, let it open. 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 Can we begin to decree and declare upon ourselves tonight? Open heaven in the name of Jesus. 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 We decree, we declare upon ourselves tonight. Father, open heaven. Let heaven open upon us. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name we are praying. In Jesus' name we are praying. Let's ask the Spirit of the living God to come and lead us tonight. Say, Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the living God, I invite you tonight. Say, Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the living God, you are welcome to our midst tonight. 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 To our midst tonight. Sweet Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the living God, we welcome you tonight. 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 Have your way in our midst. Have your way in our life. Have your way in our midst. Have your way in our life. Have your way in our midst. Have your way in our life. Have your way in our midst. In Jesus' name we are praying. We are going to take the next prayer. We are going to decree and declare. We are going to personalize it. You are going to pray it for yourself as if you have never prayed any prayer before. And what is that prayer? You are going to ask, Oh Lord, reveal yourself to me. Did I say the God should reveal yourself to you? No, there is a prayer like that. Oh Lord, reveal myself to me. That means... Since I know, don't know about myself, reveal it. That is not the prayer I'm praying about. I said, Lord, reveal yourself. 
I want to know you. When God reveal himself to you, when God reveal himself in your life, when God reveal himself in your marriage, when God reveal himself in your... We are going to take that prayer that, Father, tonight, reveal yourself in my life. Reveal yourself to me in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, my God, in my life, in my marriage, in my business, in my career, in everything that concerns me, Lord, reveal yourself, oh, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Reveal yourself to me. Reveal yourself to me. Reveal yourself, oh, Lord. Reveal yourself to me. I want to know you. Reveal yourself to me. I want to know you. Reveal yourself. 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 Can we begin to declare and declare that Father, reveal yourself to me, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Reveal yourself to me, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, reveal yourself to me. 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 Reveal yourself, O Lord. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Last Friday, I shared a scripture. Samuel has been pro Samuel has been pastor, working for God. He has been ministering on the altar. He has been prophesying. He has been burning incense. He has been praying for people. Only God knows how many months, how many years. Nobody knew. But the, when it was time for God to reveal himself to him, he thinks that guy did not know. God was calling me, he did not know. Because the God he knew was the God that his pastor, Prophet Eli, explained to him. But God, God, have, God you cannot, you cannot, nobody can explain who God is. God have different, different names, different attributes. Sir, God will reveal himself to you based on who you are, based on your problem, based on your challenges, based on what is going on in your life. When you read the Bible very well, from Genesis to the end, especially in the Old Testament, the book of Genesis, you see each time God reveal himself to Abraham or to the other people, they will call him, they will give him, they, they, you see that they now gave him a name based on that revelation. If he show up in their life and he heals them, they will call him, oh, so the God that we serve is the God of Hila. In another time, he will show up and make divine provision. Oh, there is a oh, Jehovah Nisi. Je he will always reveal himself to them based on who they are and, uh, and, and, and the situation around them. That is why nobody can describe the color, the, the texture, the, anything about Jesus Christ. The revelation of Jesus Christ I have is totally different from if Jesus revealed himself to my wife, it's going to be different. If Jesus revealed himself to me, it's going to come based on my own understanding of uh, who am I. If God is going to reveal himself to people, for example, for those of us uh, in Kenya, he's going to reveal himself in the image, in the language of people of that environment. So that you'll be able to understand him very well. If God should reveal himself to those in Europe, he will come in that in that, in that, their nature, in their language, in their color, so that they will be able to understand him. I believe we are getting the revelation. Oh Lord, reveal yourself to me. In this situation I'm going through, Lord, in my marriage, in my business, reveal yourself. Reveal yourself. Can we begin to pray for ourselves? Lord, reveal yourself, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Reveal yourself, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Reveal yourself, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Reveal yourself, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Reveal yourself. I want to know you. I want to know you tonight. Lord, reveal yourself. 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 
Lord, reveal yourself. Lord, reveal yourself. In Jesus' name, we are praying. In Jesus' name, we are praying. We are going to take it one more time before we go into tonight's prayer. Listen to me, Sir Amma. I don't know all. By the grace of God, I'm learning day by day. But the little God has revealed to me, nobody can change it. Nobody can spare otherwise. He has revealed himself to me, the God that killed it. <laughs> so I know that he can kill. So I don't joke with him. I don't play around him. When he took me and nobody was there, and he said, you are going, you must die tonight. And I was giving some reason why I must not die. My mother, she's old. He said, I will take care of her. Your brother and sister, I will equip them. He said, nothing will happen. But Lord, you gave me assignment. And I've never started at that time. He said, I have thousands of people who will do it better than you. And I will equip them. I've seen God raising a dead man. I've seen God bringing somebody that was at the point of death back to life. So when you tell me that uh, somebody is going to die and I, and, and I know that it's not your time, I have this strong faith that this person will not die. I have seen God healing, bringing healing, unusual healing. I'm not talking about other people, I'm talking about myself. A sickness and infirmity that my parents, my father, my mother, they have given up on me that I'm going to die. And he show up. He show up. And here am I today. Here, Mr. Ayam, I have been paralyzed. My left hand, that I cannot use it. Medically, they have diagnosed that, um, what do you call it, stroke. He cannot work again. That's nothing. Just, just Johnny going with life, just like that. And that I was seen in uh, uh, elementary school, maybe GSS1, GSS2, or GSS3 or so. How can a small boy who have never done anything, never uh, have never sat for A level at all, uh, just before O level, have been paralyzed? But sure, up. This is the hand. I, do, I don't even know the feeling of that hand. So he revealed himself to me based on the problem I was having per time and based on the situation around me. So when I face any situation like that, or when people brought that to any situation like that, there's no way you can, you can permutate it. I will tell you that this one is small because I have seen God and do something that is beyond this. Can we take that prayer one more time? I don't know who is, who is the owner of this prayer tonight. Oh Lord, reveal yourself in my life tonight. Reveal yourself in my life. Reveal yourself in my marriage. Reveal yourself in my business. Reveal yourself in my career. In the name of Jesus. In every situation, in every circumstance that I'm going through, Lord, reveal yourself, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Reveal yourself, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Reveal yourself, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Reveal yourself, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Reveal yourself, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Reveal yourself, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Reveal yourself, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Reveal yourself, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Reveal yourself, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Reveal yourself, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Reveal yourself, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Reveal yourself, oh Lord. Reveal yourself, oh Lord. In my life, in my marriage, in my business, in everything that concerns me. Lord, reveal yourself. 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 Reveal yourself, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Reveal yourself, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Reveal yourself, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Reveal yourself, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Reveal yourself, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Reveal yourself, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Reveal yourself, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. In my life, in my home, in my family, in the life of my wife, in the life of my children, in this ministry. Lord, reveal yourself. Lord, reveal yourself. Lord, reveal yourself. 
Lord, reveal yourself. Lord, reveal yourself. Lord, reveal yourself. Lord, reveal yourself. Lord, reveal yourself. Lord, reveal yourself. Lord, reveal yourself. Lord, reveal yourself. Lord, reveal yourself. Lord, reveal yourself. Lord, reveal yourself. Lord, reveal yourself. Lord, reveal yourself. Lord, reveal yourself. Lord, reveal yourself. Reveal yourself, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Reveal yourself, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Reveal yourself, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Reveal yourself, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Reveal yourself, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Reveal yourself, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Reveal yourself, O Lord, in Jesus' name we are praying. In Jesus' name we are praying. Our Lord our God wants to say thank you again for bringing us back tonight. The very last night of the second month, thank you for all that you have done. Thank you for what you are about to do. Thank you for what you are yet to do that you are going to do. Lord, to you be all glory, to you be all honor, to you be all adoration in the name of Jesus. The Lord is here as you tell somebody, weeping may endure for a night, but your joy comes speedily. Did I tell you in the morning? The Lord is here as you tell you, by the spirit of prophecy, that your joy comes speedily this season, this season, this season, this season. This is this is this is this is this is <laughs> for you to know that you are the person. Anything that talk about joy, anything that talk about celebration, is far far from your situation right now. But write it down. Today is twenty eight. By the spirit of prophecy, I'm hearing it. Say tell them, and I'm waiting for time. This is eleven fifty three in my hand. This afternoon, while I was praying in the office, interceding for tonight, I was said by 12 o'clock. Every one of us who should decree and declare upon ourselves, season of celebration, comfort. So I'm waiting for my own time. When it's 12 o'clock, we begin the next one minute, two minutes, you begin to prophesy upon yourself, my season of celebration, comfort. And he said, I lost said, I should tell every one of you, Throughout this month, 12 midnight, please set your alarm. My wife, please set your alarm. Either I'm at home or not. 12 midnight. So you set it like 2 minutes, 5 minutes before 12. When it's 12 midnight, you declare and declare, my season of celebration, comfort, praise the Lord. I declare and declare upon you that person that the Lord is saying, your weeping has come to an end, but your joy comes speedily. I declare, I declare, your joy on this altar of righteousness, on this altar of intercession, on this altar of prayer, we call it your joy. We call it forth speedily in the name of Jesus. We call it forth. Your joy, we call it forth. 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 That event that will lead to joy, that event that will lead to celebration in your life, in your home, in your marriage, in your business, that event, that situation, that thing that will happen in your life, that will restore joy, that will bring you joy. In the name of Jesus, we call it forth. In the name of Jesus, we call it forth. 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 In the name of Jesus. Sweet Holy Spirit, have your way tonight. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Once again, I welcome every one of us to tonight. Crossing over in the name of Jesus. Just like last month, the Lord said this month that uh, we should pray on activating and fulfilling long time God's promise. What are those God's promises for your life? The prophecy, revelation, dreams of good things that you have. But they are, they are not, they are far, far, far. And if one of them should just, if one of them should just manifest, you know that so you, it's okay for, for your life. Just one. And you have many of them. So the Lord is saying, the gate of time, the gate of the month, which means tonight and the first three nights this uh, month, that is what we are going to deal with. I want to appreciate God for last, this month of February that is coming to an end, possessing the gate, those four or five days, stretch non-stop. How God help us, and uh, I want to really appreciate God for those testimonies. For every one of you sending your testimony, I want to say thank you. I congratulate you. 
And I want to say thank you. Your testimony encouraged me. So when he asked me to do anything like that, it encouraged me. If he said we should do it last time, and that testimony. So he said we should do more, that will be more testimony. Amen. May the Lord God perfect your, your testimony in the name of Jesus. And for those of you whom God has done great things in the name of Jesus, may God perfect it, may God keep it in the name of Jesus. And for those of you who are waiting for your own, I declare, I declare, this season, this season, this season, your own testimony come in the name of Jesus. So please tonight, I will just share, we are going to look at how to activate and fulfill our uh, promise, God's promise, God's vision for our life. Whatever prophecy, whatever revelation you will receive, how are we going to activate it? How, what do you do? What can you do to activate them? Amen. I'm going to limit myself to the principle of um, Elijah. Principle of Elijah. Every, there are some men in the Bible that God worked with and uh, we are using what happened in their life as a torch to see how to go about it. And God is helping us through them. So for this topic, activate and fulfilling God's promise for our life, we'll be looking at Elijah principle. We may not look at everything tonight because we need to pray, but we share one or two. I will give a description. We look at one or two. When we come back uh, tomorrow, we continue like that. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Activating and fulfilling God's promise. That means uh, fulfilling prophecy, revelation. Amen. One thing I want us to know before we pray is this. Here, Mr. Hyalima, that God has said a thing. It's not automatic that it will happen. You don't agree with me. That God has said a thing. That God, I didn't say Satan. God said it. You are sure. I am sure that it is true. It doesn't mean that it's going to come to pass. Because there are some prophecy that you have, you need input. If God said, this woman, you are going to be pregnant. And uh, that, that means that woman must get married and uh, somebody must come in. If the woman did not get married, how is she going to have children? If God is saying you are getting married, a sister you are getting married, and you lock yourself inside the room, you do not go out. We are handsome guys, those, are, those God have position, they will see you. How will the man marry you? You say, God has said, I'm going to marry, and you are inside the, inside the room. Who will, see, who will see you? They saw Rebecca. While they were searching for a wife, they saw Rebecca. Praise the Lord. The lady that Moses uh, married, Moses saw her, and that led Moses to his father's house, and that led to the end that Moses has to marry. If all those ladies are inside the house, not coming out, they won't marry you. So some of us, for those prophecies and revelations, we have inputs. Praise the Lord. Number two, there are some prophecies and revelations. Your, your, the input there is a serious warfare. Deuteronomy 2, 24. Go to the children of Israel. They has given them the land and all the surrounding nations for their inheritance. But God said, what did God say? God said they should contend with those nations in battle. I've given you this land. I've given you all this property. But you must fight. You must kill before you can take it. If you don't fight, you will not get it. And God said, I've given them. So if they say God has given us and they hold their hand and uh, they don't fight, it will be there to eternity. Genesis 15, 14 to 15. Genesis 15, 14 to 15. God told Abraham that 400 years, 400 years, born zero, zero, the children, the, the generation of born, unborn generation of Abraham, they will go into captivity for 400 years. But hear me, sir, hear me, man. When you go to the book of Daniel, the Bible says, instead of 400 years, the children of Israel, they spent 430 years. God said they are to spend 400 years. 400 years. And uh, in, uh, in the book of Exodus, they spent how many years? 430 years. You know, ask me. Why the remaining 30 years? Because nobody is ready to take responsibility upon himself to pray that prayer. 
Daniel 7, Daniel 9, 2 to 17. Daniel 9, 2 to 17. The Bible says, Daniel saw that his people will go into captivity. A prophecy, a revelation concerning that they will be in captivity for 70 years. 70 years. When he saw it, thank God that he saw it on time. He went before God in repentance, in fasting and prayer. To remind God, this is what you have said. You, God, you have said that we go into captivity, uh, we serve uh, the enemy for 70 years. This is 70 years. He now remind God. He began to pray about it. And God honor him. That was when the liberation came. If nobody prayed, if Daniel did not saw it and prayed, hear me, sir, hear me, man. They will continue to be there in that captivity. Any one of us that we are serving, we are in one bondage or the other, based on revelation, prophecy of our parents, I decree, I declare that tonight, by the right hand of God, let there be deliverance in the name of Jesus. Let there be deliverance in the name of Jesus. Let there be deliverance in the name of Jesus. Let there be deliverance in the name of Jesus. This is 12 o'clock. Psalm 126, verse 3. Psalm 126, verse 3. Psalm 126, verse 3. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad. God must do great things for you. The, for you to be glad means you are joyful. Am I right? The Lord has done great things for us. And we are glad. We are rejoicing. Every one of us, the Lord said when it's 12 o'clock, we should lift up our hand and we should call forth great things, joyous things, celebration, events that will lead to celebration. Can you lift up your hand wherever you are, wherever you are listening to me right now, begin to declare and declare that I call for celebration into my life this month and this season. I call for celebration into my life, into my marriage, into my ministry, praying in good network. To everybody that consigned me, I call for celebration, season of celebration, season of celebration. To every member of this ministry all over the world, to every member of our family, we call for season of celebration, 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 celebration. Event that will lead to celebration. Father, we call it forth. 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 Let us begin to call it forth. Season of celebration. Season of celebration. Season of celebration. Effects of celebration. Lord, we call it forth into our life this month, this third month, the month of March. Lord, we call it forth. Season of celebration. Effects of celebration. Lord, we call it forth. In the name of Jesus, we call it forth. 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 Season of celebration. Lord, we call it forth. 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 Into our life, into our home, into our marriage, into our business. What are those projects in your hands? What are those issues that you want to celebrate on? What are those things that you want God to guide you testimony? That you want celebration to come out of it? Begin to decree and declare in the name of Jesus. Season of celebration. 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 Lord, we call it forth. 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 In Jesus' name, we are praying. Jeremiah 30, 19. Please write it down. Jeremiah 30, 19. Please, every one of us, let's try and set our lamp for just two minutes, for just five minutes, every night, every night, every night. I'm not saying, yes, you are free to pray for me, but the Lord said, every night, everybody, we should call it forth. Jeremiah 30, 19. Jeremiah 30, 19. And out of them, out of Orelua, out of the Areolas, out of Pray the Goose Network, out of 
every one of you who are online, every one of you on the platform tonight, every one of you who are listening to this podcast, every one of you who are watching this video now, out of you, what will happen? Jeremiah 13, 19. And out of us shall proceed thanksgiving. The first of them that make merry, and the Lord I will multiply them, and they shall not be few. I will glorify them, and they shall not be small. When God multiply us, multiply our marriage, our business, our career, when God increase us, enlarge us, when God glorify us, when God lift us up, you know, say, out of us we come us, proceed, thanksgiving, and the voice of them that make merry. So, Lord my God, events, situations, circumstances, that will lead to thanksgiving, that will lead to merry, that will lead to joy in my life, in my marriage, in my business, in my career. Father, I call you forth in the name of Jesus. If friend that will lead to thanksgiving, if friend that will lead to merriment, if friend that will lead to celebration, if friend that will lead to joy, in this third month, I call you forth. 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 Can we begin to call it forth in the name of Jesus? Let's begin to call it forth. That event in this third month that will lead to celebration, that will lead to joy, that will lead to thanksgiving. Say, I call it forth in the name of Jesus. I call it forth in the name of Jesus. I call it forth in the name of Jesus. I call it forth in the name of Jesus. Father, I call it forth. 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 Is then that we lead to thanksgiving. Is then that we lead to testimony in my life, in my marriage, in my business, in my career. Father, I call it forth. 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 Begin to call it forth in the name of Jesus. Begin to call it forth. Begin to call it forth. Begin to call it forth. That event that we lead to testimony in your life, in your marriage, in your business, in your career. Say, I call it forth in the name of Jesus. I call it forth in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name we are praying. I decree, I declare concerning every one of you who are online. I decree, I declare concerning every member of Praying Goods Network all over the world and our family members. I decree, I declare concerning every one of you who are listening to this uh, podcast all over the world concerning you and your family. As the Lord God has said, your testimony, events that will bring joy, events that will bring celebration, I call it forth into your life in the name of Jesus. I call it forth into your business in the name of Jesus. I call it forth into your marriage in the name of Jesus. I call it forth to everything that concerns you in the name of Jesus. So shall he be. In Jesus' name we are praying. In Jesus' name we are praying. Praise the Lord. Amen. Activate and fulfilling God's promise for our life. I've shared with us why we need to pray it, why we need to pray those prophets and revelations into reality. If you don't pray them, they will just be like that. I don't want you to be like me, that God gave me a prophecy, or you'll be like my mother. God gave me a prophecy. I've shared this online before I got married at all, that I'm going to have twins. It was how many years after? Almost about seven or eight years. And uh, when I got, finally got married in the night, the Lord said, I will give you twins. And in the morning, I told my wife, the Lord said, go to grant us twins. And our first child, we are expecting twins. Nothing come. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. We are boys, we are girls, and uh, we have done. We don't want children again. And suddenly, after many years, 11 years, the twins show up in, in a miraculous way. And I called, when my mother was around, I was sharing with her, oh, God has said it 11 years ago, but it came to my mother said, oh. <laughs> and my mother now shared something about her. I said that before I married, I received a revelation and prophecy. They told me that I'm going to have twins. And if I don't give back to twins, one of the children that I'm going to have will give back to twins and I will carry them. So I was expecting twins. My first child, no twins. My second child, no twins. Up to the last one, you. 
and you do, you do not come as twins. So I now said, that may be those people that gave me that promise and revelation about twins, maybe they did not see well. So later I was expecting my first child or my second child to, when, they, when it was time for them to give out that somebody would give me twins, and it did not happen. Up to you. And when you have your first child, then you have all your children and twins, you know, I remember again, I said, it cannot happen. That those people, there are some people that they just give prophecy, they just talk, not uh, from God. Before I marry your father. Not, 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 not five years, not one year, not two years, not three years. And by the time God gave me twins, my brother, our first, uh, my mother's first child, was 72 years old, the year I had twins. The year I had twins, my mother's uh, first child was uh, 72. So she got married at least nine months. We are talking about year, that's 73. And the woman said it's not about five years before she married. So 73 plus five, how many is that? That's 78 plus or minus, <laughs> almost 80 years. So this woman carried promise and revelation of 80 years of fulfilled. When I was now asked God, God said, this is how my children, they, when they have prophecy, they just don't be their expecting. No wonder. Apostle Paul told Timothy, 1 Timothy 1.18. 1 Timothy 1.18. 1 Timothy 1.18. Apostle Paul told Timothy, he said, that prophecy, that revelation that you have received, he said, make a good warfare with it. Make a good, because if you don't make a good warfare with it, it should just be there. So hear me, sir, hear me, man. God may speak concerning you. God may speak concerning your loved one. If you don't treat it, if you don't do, if you don't do justice to it in the place of prayer, the way you want it to happen, times 10 of it, times 10, you want it to happen. Multiply that passion, that sin, times 10, is how Satan is fighting that it must not come to pass. Before we pray, 1 Kings 18, 29 to 46. 1 Kings 18, 29 to 46. Well, this popular story that we know about Elisha. Elisha come, uh, came to the Mount Carmel and there was battle there. There was a revelation. He said there should be no rain. There was no rain and there was drought. What is the meaning? There was no water, no rain, no water. And it was time for him to command rain. He knew that God had said, go. I will follow you. That will be rain. So that is a prophecy. So he followed them and uh, what happened, we want to look at, uh, because of our time, so that we can pray. Let me, let's talk about, quickly look at three things. There are many, almost about uh, 12 things. We look at the first three tonight and we pray. The Bible said, in uh, 1 Kings 18, 29, and it came to pass, when the midday was past, and they prophesied, that means the occulting people, until the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice, that there was neither voice, nor answer, nor does the guy, Elijah now came. That was the time. From money, he left them, he abandoned them. But the Bible said, at the time, the time of evening sacrifice, the time of evening sacrifice, hear me, sir, hear me, man. Elijah understood his own prophetic timing. What did I mean? Every one of us, we, there is a time in heaven that when you knock, door must open. The first thing you must know is you must understand it. If you don't understand it, you may, you may be knocking doors at the wrong time. You may be praying at the wrong time. Is it possible? It is very possible, my brother and my sister. The Bible says, Elijah was waiting from morning to evening. He didn't do anything. But when it was that time, he knocked. Evening sacrifice. Evening sacrifice. I remember when I was in, in secondary school. I don't read it during the daytime. During the daytime, when we are in that class, I'll be disturbing them. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Ledia, let me not just. <laughs> when I see people reading, I will take their book, I will run away, run to maybe the second, the third class, I will go and hide. I don't read. But in the night, my eyes is like allergy like this. So that, that is when 
you will see me, I will be reading, I will be cracking uh, science students. I will do everything, but when it is 5 o'clock, that is the end. So if somebody now wants to copy me, she will already always play in the daytime. If you want to play in the daytime, that person will fail you, <laughs> will fail woefully. So it's always a surprise. During the exam, I will be teaching them. I will be explaining to them. And then, but you always, you don't read. I know my timing. So you see the same thing now. My wife, I know the time. She always likes to pray very early in the morning. That is when I want to sleep. Throughout the whole night, I don't sleep. But while we'll be sleeping, I'll be looking at her. But in the morning, if I want to touch her, she'll she just signal to me, oh God, leave me. <laughs> Amen. You see her praying. That is her time. But that is the time that me and I will sleep. My children will come here, we wake up and say, Daddy, why is Daddy always like to sleep early in the morning? When, me are, when all of you are sleeping, me and I am awake. So everybody have their own time. Elijah came at the evening, the time of evening sacrifice. Hello, Saloma. You must know your own timing. I'm not teaching about timing tonight. Number two. Number two. First King 18 for 30. The Bible said, and Elijah prepared the broken altar. The altar that was broken down in verse 30, he repaired it. What is the meaning? Some prophecy will not come to reality if you and I do not come to the place of repentance and correction. He first of all repaired the broken altar. What is that broken altar? Hello, Saloma. There are some errors, there are some mistakes that our forefathers have committed. You and I must correct it. If we don't correct it, Maybe I'm not the one. Is it not my great 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 grandfather that I into occultism or idolatry? Ah. It will stand against us. That was the reason the Bible said when it was time for Elijah, the very first thing, after you understood the time, the Bible said he repaired the broken altar of the Lord. It's not his own altar, the broken altar of the Lord. We are the generation you so supposed to worship God that they have abandoned, he repaired it. You must know the error, the mistake in your lineage. And you not undo it in the place of repentance and correction. Not only that one. Where if, you have, if there's a place that you have missed it, you must correct it. You don't just jump, overlook. You jump over the repentance. You overlook a correction. Another one. If God has asked you to do something before and you don't do it, you don't jump. There is punishment for it. God may still be waiting for you 10 years, 20 years, 30 years until you do this. So you don't want to do it. You want to continue like that. You want God to answer you. You want God to do it. No. God ever will be saying, go back. Go and do that correction. If you have missed it in the journey of life, you must first of all settle it with the Lord. God may ask you to go back and start all over in that place again. God may ask you to, when you are sustained injury, continue with your journey like that. But you must find out and do the necessary correction. Number three. The Bible says after that, he now raised, he took 12 stones. And each that represents the, um, the family of Israel, he now raised an altar unto the living God. The very first one, they are totally different. The very first one, he corrected, he rebuilt the broken altar. This time around, he built an altar unto the living God. What is an altar? Altar is a doorway. A door, a way, and entrance into a particular place. You must ask a prayer, personal prayer altar. Solid one. Not where you come, five minutes. God, I wake up this morning, God the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Eh, eh. Eh, eh. By the grace of God, I have a prayer altar in my house. And in the office, I have a prayer altar. When things are tough, when things is like, I, I don't know what to do. I escape to what, any one of them. And there's always a solution. Because that, the altar is, a personal, is my personal altar, and that is the gateway to my God. If you don't have one, if your own is, you pray anywhere, yeah, it's good to pray anywhere, but I have taught us you must have a personal prayer altar. Where you come with your God, when things want to scatter, you have confidence that when I go to my prayer altar, you can raise it anywhere. You can raise it inside the toilet. In your office, in your company. You can be, you can, I met many people who work in bank. 
and I say, Pastor, how am I going to do it? I say, go and raise the altar inside the toilet. Whenever there is an issue, whenever there is a problem in your organization, just excuse yourself. Please, I'm pressed. I want to go to the, to the toilet. They will ask you to go. But you know you are not going to the toilet. You know you are going to the place of your altar. You, when you enter there, angels are there. Lord, I have come. This is what is going on here. And you make a decree. By the time you come out and you are adjusting your suit, you are not adjusting your suit. Spiritually, it's not adjusting. Because you have settled on that altar there. If you don't have, the enemy have, and they will rub this you. One more so that we can pray. Number four. And the Bible said, and they later carry sacrifice. What is sacrifice? The Bible said, after you have um, built the altar, slaughter animal there, you now begin to pour water. Many people think that the animal that they like that slaughter are the sacrifice. They are not the sacrifice. Sacrifice are things that you gave unto God painfully. Try to be myself. Sacrifice are things that you give unto God painfully. Things that cost you. Animal did not cost them. They have plenty animal. But when you read the Bible, the Bible says it was a time of famine. There was no water. There was drought on the land. That means there was no water. There was no rain. Everywhere was dry. And that was when Elijah now came and said, fresh water. He was pouring water. The little water that remained that we're supposed to drink, the little water that remained that he's supposed to drink, he was pouring it upon the altar. That is the sacrifice. What caused him? It's not the animal. They have plenty of animal. But what is causing him and causing the children of Israel is water because what they were lacking at that time was water. So the little one that is supposed to manage, he was pouring it upon the altar. He was pouring it upon the water. That is the sacrifice. What is that thing that costs you? If you are not ready to release it unto God. May the Lord go and help us in the name of Jesus. These are the out of almost about 12, these are the 34 four steps that you and I need to do. You can't put them in, in position, put them in place on, a, on an issue. I've received it. Why Elijah was doing all this thing was because he received from the Lord that go, go and meet Ahab. I will release rain. He received a prophecy, revelation, that there will be rain. So he went and he was following all these steps. And at the end, God backed him up. God is saying, we should pray to the gate of uh, March. We should activate and fulfill God's promise for our life. Please, sir, please, man. I want you to check yourself. If there is a place you are missing it before God, go back and say to it. The Lord help us in the name of Jesus. Can we lift up our hands? And please, as you are coming from tomorrow, tonight, the day one, day two, day three, please get a sheet of paper, prophecy and revelation, don't write more than three. The one that you want God to do, write it down. Because we'll be lifting them up, we'll be praying of them. Praise the Lord. Let's lift up our hand. Let's appreciate God for those prophecies and revelation that has given us, that we are waiting for. And this month of March, God is going to manifest them. Lift up your hand and say, thank you, Jesus. Because this month, I will see their manifestation. 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 Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we are pray. In Jesus' name, we are pray. The very first prayer you are going to declare and declare, you are going to say, Father, so Lord my God, say, have mercy on me. Wherever I have missed it, Wherever my parents have missed it, and of course delay the manifestation of my vision, the dream, your work for my life. So, Lord my God, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Any sin in my life, any of my past sin, any of my parental error that is bringing delay to the manifestation of vision, of your vision, of your dream. Lord, have mercy on us. I ask for mercy. 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 Lord, have mercy, O Lord. Mercy, O Lord. Mercy, O Lord. 
this third month, Lord, have mercy on me. Let your mercy prevail. 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 In Jesus' name, we are praying. What is that word? What is that prophecy? What is that revelation that you want to activate, that you want God to do for you, that you want God to bring them to reality? Raise up your right hand. Say, my father, my father, my father. Say in the name of Jesus. Say concerning your word for my life. Concerning your prophecy for my life. So, Lord my God, from today, by the blood of Jesus, say, O oh Lord, hasten them to perform in the name of Jesus. Hasten to perform them. 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 Your word, your prophecy, your revelation for my life, your word for my marriage, your word for my ministry. O oh Lord my God, by the blood of Jesus, hasten to perform them in the name of Jesus. Hasten to perform them in the name of Jesus. Lord, bring them to pass. Bring them to pass. Bring them to pass. Begin to declare and declare. Let the Lord God bring them to pass in the name of Jesus. Let God bring them to pass in the name of Jesus. Let God bring them to pass in the name of Jesus. Let God bring them to pass in the name of Jesus. Let God bring them to pass in the name of Jesus. Let God bring them to pass in the name of Jesus. Let God bring them to pass in the name of Jesus. Decree and declare. So, Lord my God, bring them to pass. Hasten to perform them in the name of Jesus. Hasten to perform them in the name of Jesus. Hasten to perform them in the name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, I decree, I declare your word for my life, your word for my marriage, your word for my business, your word for my career. Oh, Lord, my God, hasten to perform them in the name of Jesus. Hasten to perform them in the name of Jesus. Hasten to perform them. In Jesus' name we are praying. Jeremiah 1, verse 12. Jeremiah 1, verse 12. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 12. Then said the Lord to me, Then said the Lord to me, You have seen well, You have well seen, For I will estimate my word to perform me. I will estimate my word to perform me. What have you seen? What dream, what vision have God shown you? What dream, what vision have God shown you? Show you concern your marriage, concern your business, concern your career. My Mrs. Adola, concerning your husband, concerning your children, what are the words that God has shown you in our dream? In our thoughts, in our imagination. Somebody say imagination. Yes. Who gave you that imagination? Is it not God? In your dream, in your thoughts, in the dream of the night, the prophecy that you have received, what are, the, what are those things? Uh, Mrs. Favor, concerning that your school, concerning that your, 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 your marriage, concerning your school, what have God shown you? What have you received? Jeremiah 1, verse 12. He said, you have seen well. So that dream that you thought that, oh, it is a wrong dream. They are not wrong dreams. They are right dreams. You have seen well. Somebody say, I have seen well. Oh, somebody say, I have seen well. And the Lord said, I will hasten my word to perform it. I will hasten my word to perform it. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord, my God, that vision, that revelation concerning my life, concerning my marriage, that sweet vision, that sweet dream mm -hmm. concerning my life, concerning my marriage, Concerning my business, concerning my career, say, oh Lord my God, see your word to perform it in the name of Jesus. see them to performance in the name of Jesus. Bring them to reality. Bring them to reality. Bring them to reality. Bring them to reality. Oh Lord my God, by your word, bring them, oh Lord. Bring them, oh Lord, perform them. Bring them to reality. Perform them, oh Lord. Bring them to reality. Perform them, oh Lord. Bring them to reality. Perform them, oh Lord. Can we begin to make, decree and declare mm -hmm. concerning those visions that this third month, oh Lord my God, I want to see that manifestation. Oh Lord my God, manifest them, manifest them, manifest them, manifest them, manifest them, manifest them, mm -hmm. manifest them, manifest them. Can we begin to decree and declare mm -hmm. that this month, this third month, I decree and declare manifestation in the name of Jesus, manifestation in the name of Jesus, manifestation. 
in the name of Jesus. Manifestations 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 in the name of Jesus. Manifestations. Command them. Command their manifestation. Let there be manifestation. Let there be manifestation. In Jesus' name we are praying. Romans 4, 17. Romans 4, 17. As it is written, I have made you a father of many nations. Before him whom he believed, even God, who vibed the dead, and called those things which be not as though they were. Things which be not, things that are not in existence, he called them as if they be. What are those things that are not in your life? What are those things that are missing in your life? He said, he called them as if they be. And what happened? There was manifestation. Genesis chapter 1. There was nothing like light. He said, let there be light. He called for light. And as if there was light, and that light be. There was nothing like animal. He said, let there be goats. Let there be lizard. Let there be tortoise. Let there be sheep. Let there be elephant. Let there be lion. As if they be, and they appear. Romans 4, 17. You are going to lift up your hands. Oh Lord, my God. Every good thing. Every good prophecy. Good revelation. Good vision. That is missing in my life. That is missing in my marriage. That is missing performance in my business and career. Oh Lord, my God, I call them forth. In the name of Jesus, I call them forth. 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 Begin to call them forth into reality. Say, I call them forth. The manifestation of those good prophecies, of those good dreams. Lord, I call them forth. In the name of Jesus, I call them forth. This third month, I call them forth. 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 Begin to call them forth into manifestation. In the name of Jesus, call them forth. Call them forth. Call them forth. Call them forth into manifestation. In Jesus' name, we are praying. In Jesus' name, we are praying. He said, this month, every one of us, he didn't say we should be praying it together. He said, tell them, every one of them, 12 noon, 12 midnight, they should decree and declare celebration. What will lead to that celebration? Is it not the manifestation of that prophecy, of that revelation, of that vision? When they come to life, when they come to manifestation, what will not happen? Celebration. He called those things that are not in existence as if they be. Close to 20 years now. How many years? Maybe 18 or so. I was under a, a I was learning on a prophetic intercession under a woman of God. And he just said, I perceive. He said, I have to just tell me. Tell me. <laughs> he said, I perceive all right. That God is taking you on the internet. You are going to run church. You are going to run ministry on the internet. <laughs> it's not possible. Uh, who is doing ministry on? Nobody. Nobody. And the woman said, take this money. For those of us who are in Nigeria, remember in the days of Starcom, he said, take this money. Go and buy Starcom. That is a modem, internet modem. He said, I know God will raise somebody for you who will buy you laptop or desktop. So that you will connect it, you begin to do ministry online. Ministry online. <laughs> hey. He said people are doing, you have not been doing business. Corporate, corporate organization that are on the internet. He said, so I perceive it. Not two, not three times, no. I did not grab it. I did not understand it. Less than two months, somebody showed up and bought me a laptop. I don't understand it. If I knew, I should be I will start running like uh, I see my life depend on it. Yes, my life depend on it. But because I don't understand. 
until how many years? Not 15 years before I now understand. It. Ah, so Kai, 15 years or almost 18 years wasted. And I begin to journey on it. And this is it today. You are going to... Listen, listen, listen. When the woman was saying it, only two internet, uh, uh, something in Nigeria, uh, multi-league and Starcom. In Lagos, State, you don't have Starcom, you are not using internet. MTN, they are not born. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, 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 no. I see the B. Things that are not in the system, I see the B. Today, I run church online. I run church on the internet. What is that prophecy in your life? that you want to see the manifestation. It may look difficult. Yes, that is God. It may look, if this one cannot be possible, that is God. Can you lift up your hand again? Say, Father, say I call forth the manifestation, the fulfillment of this vision, of this prophecy. Begin to mention it. Say, I call them forth into reality, in my life, in my marriage, in my business, in my career. Concerning the Pending Goods Network, every pending prophecy, revelation, vision, and dream, Concerning my wife, my, my children, concerning myself, every pending uh, uh, prophecy, revelation, dream, and vision, I call them forth. 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 This third month, this month of March, Father, I call them forth. In the name of Jesus, I call them forth. In the name of Jesus, I call them forth. In the name of Jesus, I call them forth. In the name of Jesus, I call them forth. In the name of Jesus, I call them forth. In the name of Jesus, I call them forth. In the name of Jesus, I call them forth. In the name of Jesus, I call them forth. In the name of Jesus, I call them forth. In the name of I call them forth. Begin to 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 call them forth. In Jesus' name we are praying. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We take that prayer one more time before we take two or three more prayer. What God is showing me is this. One of you, what is delayed the manifestation? If you are on the online church, I'm not saying you say you are the one. But please, if you are the one, after we finish, just send a message to the WhatsApp. Plus two three four eight zero six two six eight six two double five. Plus two three four for those who are listening to the audio. Plus two three four eight zero six two six eight six two double five. So that we seek the face of God on how to break it. And what is it? What is indeed the manifestation, the fulfillment of that glorious vision in your life? In the time of unknown, I'm not saying now, in the time of unknown, you went somewhere. They asked you to bring a fowl. They didn't use the fowl to rub your head. They slaughter the fowl on your head. And the blood of the fowl, they, 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 they split it on your head. I don't know what you are looking for. I'm not saying you are wrong. I'm not condemning you. You see the first clause. In the time of unknown, if you are that person that you have been to some places, they may even call it church for you. And uh, what they do was bring a fowl and they slaughter it on your head, they, they pieces it, and they now split the blood on your head for one thing or the other. Please, the moment we finish, just send the message in. Thank you, Jesus. Because I must hear your testimony in the name of Jesus. I said, I must hear your testimony in the name of Jesus. Elijah rebuilt the broken altar of the Lord. He rebuilt it. So, Lord, my God, say any damage, any damage in my life, say any error in my past, say any error in the life of my parents, any parental error, any parental mistake, any of my past error and mistake that is injuring the fulfillment of your work for my life, so Lord my God, by the blood of Jesus, Lord forgive us, O Lord. Lord forgive us, O Lord. Any of our past mistake and error, 
that is indeed the fulfillment of your word in our life. Say, Lord, today we come to you by the blood of Jesus. Say, Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. By the blood of Jesus, redeem us, O Lord. By the blood of Jesus, forgive us, O Lord. By the blood of Jesus, redeem us, O Lord. By the blood of Jesus, forgive us, O Lord. By the blood of Jesus, redeem us, O Lord. By the blood of Jesus, forgive us, O Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. So, Lord my God, where I have missed it, in the place of destiny, say by your mercy, correct me, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, where I have missed it, in the journey of life that is causing delay to the manifestation of your word for my life. So, Lord my God, by your mercy, by your love, Lord, correct me. In the name of Jesus, let that be the fine correction. 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 Where I have missed it, oh Lord my God, let that be the fine correction. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, my Father, my Father, my Father, where I have missed it, in the place of destiny, say, my Lord, my God, by your right hand, reposition me. Say, reposition me. So, Lord, my God, where I have missed it, so, Lord, my God, reposition me, reposition me, reposition me, reposition me. In Jesus' name, we are praying. There's some, if you are, there's some, there's some of us. The reason why those visions and dreams are not coming to pass is as a result of where you live, where you stay. That you are not supposed to even go around that place. Try to be myself. The delay to that manifestation of dream is where you have been to before. It's the man that you have journeyed with before. It's the woman that you have journeyed with before. It's the church that you have been to before. It's the street that you have lived before. It's the house that you have lived before. A pastor who rented an apartment for church and uh, God opened his eyes because they always see dead people in dream. They always see dead people. They always hear people crying. What is it? And he said, the owner of that property, when he bought it, there was a fight and a pregnant woman was killed and buried there. A pregnant woman killed and buried there. And you are now you doing church there. So the cry of that pregnant woman, the cry of the baby is always crying every day there. Spiritually. So, if it's not a church, assuming it's a business, you know, erected your business there. What will now happen to the business? You know, if you the business is not uh, doing well. Whereas you are not supposed to go to that place. The Bible calls a place land of darkness. A land of darkness, nothing will grow, nothing will do well there. Many of us who have gone to the land of darkness. You are not supposed to pass through that place, but you went there, you slept there. Many of us, it is our marriage that we enter into. Many of us, it is the man that we will work under, that we work with. There are some occultic people, they don't just employ people. They will take their CV, they take their data, they will go and make consultation. Who is among them? Our glory, glory that I can use to fertilize the land. Now pick this one, this one, this one. This one is empty. This one is low. But this one is good, original. But you that you carry, you don't even know. And they will now be. In the time of unknown, boys who want to be, who have you slept with? That, you, that your chest must not even, you must not, your body must not even touch that body, that, that, body, that person. But you romance, you do everything. <laughs> Glory hijacker. Glory destroyer. I share it on, the, on this platform. While we are praying in my former church, and God gave us a revelation, somebody is coming, the spirit of death is on that person. Anybody that they touch, the spirit of death, of death will be touching the person. 
So instead of only her to die, multiple. Between her home and church, only God knows how many people she touched. She did not come with her own car. She entered into public. So those people inside the public uh, something, whoever they touch, you shout death. So you not say just slump. He just died. He had an accident. He slept. He did not wake up. Uh, this happened. He died. Oh, uh, we don't know. He slain death. If, where have you been? Many of us, the manifestation of that dream is as a result of where we went. I know my own. And I believe you know your own. God said, start online. Instead of me to start online, my wife, what did I do? I went to church to go and walk. Is it not to work for God? I went to church to go and walk. And that was the end. It's not that maybe somebody was, or caught sick was, eh, eh. My own is, start online. I am not starting online. I went to church and I was working in church as a pastor, full-time pastor, senior pastor. <laughs> but the glory which God wants to reveal, nobody will see it. Nobody will know it. Where we'll be fighting. I want to minister. Just five minutes. Almost more than 20 pastors will be fighting. And we have how many hours? Three hours to minister in a day. So all of us will be fighting. And the other ones, who is going to know us? It's only the owner of the church that they will know. Until he pulled me out. I don't know Sister Sarah before. I don't know um, I've been to Kenya before. Mami Yetunde, I don't know her before. Uh, my pastor, Pastor Bayo Rua, yeah, I don't know her before. Prof, my professor, I don't know her before. Amen. But it was after I pulled out, he said, go. If I have remained in that church, I won't run the online. I won't be posting prayer. <laughs> Amen. Uh, Mami Yetunde, she said she was searching for a prayer point on the internet one day. And she saw, you come across a particular prayer. And she loved the prayer. This prayer addressed what I'm looking for. And she saw the, prayer, uh, the phone number under it. And she sent a message. That was how me and uh, Mami uh, Fashola we know ourselves. Ma, if I have remained where I will be struggling to minister five minutes, <laughs> will I post prayer? Will I know you? Will you know me? <laughs> Amen. The Lord bless you, my, in the name of Jesus. Tell my sister, she should come in 10 o'clock. Pray have a line start today, 12 o'clock. She should come in 10 o'clock if she's available. Amen. Can we lift up our hands? Oh, Lord, my God. Where I am missing in the journey of life, Lord, by your right hand, reposition me. In the name of Jesus, reposition me. Reposition me. Reposition me. Where I am missing in your agenda, where I am missing in your position for my life, by your mercy, by your right hand, Father, reposition me this month. This third month, Lord, reposition me. Lord, reposition me. Lord, reposition me. Lord, reposition me. Can you begin to decree and declare this third month? Let the Lord God reposition you in the name of Jesus. Where you are missing, where your husband misses, where your wife misses, where your children misses, where your family misses, let God reposition you in the name of Jesus. Let God reposition you in the name of Jesus. Let God reposition you in the name of Jesus. Let God reposition you in the name of Jesus. Let God reposition you in the name of Jesus. Let God reposition you in the name of Jesus. Let God reposition you in Jesus' name. We are praying. We take that prayer one more time again before we round up for tonight and we come back by the fair grace of God possessing the gate of this month tonight. God will reposition you. God will reposition you. No matter where you are, if that is not the will of God for your life, God will reposition us. My wife saw a revelation. God said, his time is up. He must pull out. I said, eh, you do not get it right. May the Lord God forgive me or forgive my wife. For almost about how many months? Three months or six months. My wife refused to follow me to church. <laughs> she refused. If you are not following me, I will go. <laughs> when God is saying this is the way, and I refuse to go, or not to me, she, has, she started praying, Lord, this boy is, is so stubborn. <laughs> just, just have mercy on him so that he won't kill himself. Just help me reposition him. I went to church one day. I was coming back home on the road. The, my car, what happened to it? He knocked down. On the road. Not in the church. Not in the house. The car smelled like three months on the road. On the road. 
Not in the house, not on the on the road. Is it not uh, towards the end when we finally agree that uh, I need to step and move forward and do the will of God? That was when solution come for that car for almost three months on the road. I'll be going on bike. <laughs> I will see the car dust. I will see people, they will put their leg and be doing, oh my God. If you have missed it, one of the signs is this. Every, everything that concerns you, God will be knocking it down. God will be knocking it down. Your head, it will knock it down. Your finance, it will knock it down. Your joy, it will knock... Everything that is giving you comfort, God will be knocking them down. There's a place where they, they will knock down, and there's a place where God knocked down. If you are not in God's will for your life, and God wants you to do it, Everything that is giving you comfort in that wrong place, God will be knocking it down one by one, one by one. And you'll not be praying. Every witchcraft, no witchcraft too. If you are not in the will of God, just pray that prayer, which my wife was praying for me. Lord, help me reposition him to your will and your agenda. <laughs> Amen. Can you lift up your hand? Say this month of March, oh Lord my God, reposition me. If I have missed it, reposition me to your will, back to your will and your agenda for my life. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord my God, this very month, if I miss it, if I miss it in your will, in your agenda for my life, for my marriage, for my business, for my career, my Lord my God, reposition it, oh Lord. Reposition me, oh Lord. Reposition me, oh Lord. Reposition me, oh Lord. Ask the Lord God to reposition you in the name of Jesus. If you have missed it, uh, ask the Lord God to reposition you in the name of Jesus. Father, reposition me in the name of Jesus. Back to your will. Back to your agenda for my life. Reposition me in Jesus' name. We are praying. That fulfillment of that dream, the fulfillment of that vision that you saw, that you have, that good dream that you want God to do, hear me, say, hear me. it will only happen if you are on the course, if you are on the will, the agenda of God. But if not, it will not Ah, huh? God wants to do something here and you face another place. God will not bring it. You are the one that will turn back. It doesn't matter how many years you have been in that place. I was not a junior pastor, a senior pastor, a senior pastor. So no matter, it's not about the years that I spent. It's not about what? It's not about the position. Is about the will. He has been ordained as a pastor. Who oh, is among? We are doing meeting one day, and I raised a man. I said I want to confirm because we have junior, we have senior. So there was an issue, and I said, please, I mean, I want to ask people group, my own group. He said, keep quiet, pastor, pastor, keep quiet, because you know that you are one of the senior. <laughs> the senior know themselves. The junior know themselves. You are not the senior. Not to not talk of the assignment in your hand. So you know. I'm a senior pastor in that church. But it's totally out of the will and the agenda of God for my life. Many of us, where we are today, is not where God sent us. God did not send us there. God did not ask you to be doing what you are doing. You may be working in church. You may be deacon, you may be deaconess, you may be prophet, you may be apostle. If God did not send you, you are on your own. You need to go and do your own will. Say, Father, tonight, as I enter into the third month, the month of March, open my eyes to your will, your agenda for my life. In the name of Jesus. Can you pray that prayer before we close tonight? As a Lord God, to open your eyes of understanding to God's will, to God's agenda for your life, so that you'll be able to begin to walk and begin to do things in that area. As a Lord God, to open your eyes to His will and agenda for your life. Pray that prayer for your children. My children will not miss it. As I miss it, they will not miss it. As I wasted some of my years, they will not waste their own time. Lord, open to them, speak to them. Show them your will and the agenda for their life. Please, parents, pray for your children as you are riding up tonight. This month, this month of March, let God show you, show your family, 
your husband, your wife, his will and agenda in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. The month of March, year 2023, I'll be declared by the Spirit of the Living God as your month and my month of new beginning. The month of March, year 2023, has been declared by the Spirit of the Living God as your month and as my month of new beginning. And the anchor scripture is Isaiah 65, 17. The month of March, year 2023, has been declared as your month and my month of new beginning. And the anchor scripture is Isaiah 65, verse 17. Isaiah 65, verse 17. For behold, I create new heavens and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered, nor come into mind. For behold, I create new heavens and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered, nor come to mind. This month, as the Lord God has declared, it shall be unto you the month of new beginning in the name of Jesus. The Lord will create new opportunity, new thing, new speed, new achievement, new success in your life in the name of Jesus. Everything that was dead was dead. Everything that the enemy has stopped this very month, they will start, they will receive strength, they will receive grace to start again in the name of Jesus. Every abandoned project, I decree, I declare, every abandoned project in your life, in your marriage, in your business, in your career, the hand of the Almighty God to start again and not stop and complete it in record time. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. For behold, I create new heavens. The Lord will create new things for you in the name of Jesus. And a new earth, new establishment in the name of Jesus. And the former shall not be remembered. Every pain, every agony, every shame, every reproach, in the past weeks, in the past months, in the past years, in the name of Jesus, the Lord terminate them in the name of Jesus. The Lord terminate them. 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 Every pain, every shame, every reproach, every bow down of head in agony, in shame, in ridicule, the Lord terminate it in the name of Jesus. Concerning your life, concerning your marriage, Concerning your business, concerning your career, everything that has given you headache before, you will not see them in the name of Jesus. They will not come to reality in the name of Jesus. You will not see them in your home, in your environment, concerning your earth, you will not see them in the name of Jesus. Concerning the revelation of God, concerning the word of God, concerning the promises of God for your life, this very month, the Lord will establish them in the name of Jesus. The Lord will establish them. In your life, you will establish them. In your marriage, you will establish them. In your business, you will establish them. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Can you shout, new beginning three times? Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Once again, we are all welcome to the third month, the month of March. The Lord bless us in the name of Jesus. And also by the special grace of God, prayer avalanche starts today. Today is 1st of March. Prayer avalanche starts today team is new beginning please join me 12 o'clock nigeria time 12 p.m in the afternoon nigeria time for prayer avalanche not only today throughout this month of march the lord bless us in the name of jesus and let's not forget first three days of the month on the first on the second and on the third we are coming back in the ninth as we begin to declare and declare oh lord hasten to performance your word in my life and those words those promises those revelations, those dreams, the Lord will establish them this week, this time, this month, this season, in your life, in your home, in your marriage, in your business, in your career, Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. For those of you who support us, who support this vision, for those of you who send your seed, your tithe, your offering, may the Lord God bless you in the name of Jesus. May God increase you greatly in the name of Jesus. May the Lord God lift up your head from shame and reproach in the name of Jesus. What is giving you concern? May God turn into joy in the name of Jesus. You are there, you are saying, Pastor, can I pay my tithe? Yes, you can pay it. I said it. Yes, you can pay it. <laughs> if there is any pastor that says you cannot pay it, not only into this ministry, into any ministry, just send the, send me a message. I will send you a message. 
Amen. To your WhatsApp, you forward it to the pastor. Amen. I don't want to be doing uh, <laughs> argument in that area, but according to believe, be, be, uh, according to the word of God, according to the Bible, according to the Bible, you can pay your tithe not only in the church, but to any man of God. What we always use is bring the tithe to the house of God. The Bible says to the house of God. But that is not the genesis of tithe. It was when people refused to give unto God and all the pastors, all the ministers that are supposed to be blessed, they now abandon God's work and they are now doing farming. They go into farm and do farming. That was when God was now rebooking them, bring it. So that instead of my pastor to go and be doing all job and they will abandon the, my work. So you can pay your tithe to this ministry and to any ministry. And to any ministry. Mm-hmm. And for you, you want to give offering, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. For pay avalanche, you want to support us by the special grace of God, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. And last but not the least, God said this year, our strength, members of Praying Eagles Network, your, mm-hmm. our strength shall be in giving. You remember the scripture? Shall be in giving to the poor. Mm-hmm. And I propose that whatever comes into the ministry, by the special grace of God from the beginning mm-hmm. and to the end of the month, a, pass, a, a certain percentage, I will deduct it, not even tight, not even offering, a, pass, a certain percentage on behalf of every member of the ministry that send it, we will go and give it to the orphanage or to those who are in need, based on that word of God for us for this year. So you want to be partnered with me in that area, by the grace of God, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. This week, everything that comes in, amen, by the grace of God, we do justice to it. And I know for every one of you, for every one of you, the Lord will bless you, the Lord will increase you. You will see the hand of God in a new dimension in your life, in your marriage, in your business, in your career. Jesus said. Once again, I invite every one of you to join me 12 o'clock this afternoon for prayer avalanche. Day one is going to be superb. Somebody say superb. Somebody say power. It's going to be full of power. The Lord bless us in the name of Jesus. Happy New Month to each and every one of us. God bless us in Jesus' name. See you during prayer avalanche and see you tonight.